In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, our divine physician, we ask you to guard and protect us from coronavirus COVID-19 and all serious illness. For all that have died from it, have mercy. For those that are ill now, bring healing. For those searching for a remedy, enlighten them. For medical caregivers helping the sick, strengthen and shield them. For those working to contain the spread, grant them success. For those afraid, grant peace. May your precious blood be our defense and salvation. By your grace, may you turn the evil of disease into moments of consolation and hope. May we always fear the contagion of sin more than any illness. We abandon ourselves to your infinite mercy. Lord Jesus, as we walk with you on your way of the cross, help us to see how your sacrifice gives meaning to our own difficult times as we suffer in so many ways from this worldwide pandemic. Your cross stands in the center of history, a towering sign that the God who created our world out of love understands our pain and shares it with us. Amen. First station, Jesus to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. For by your holy cross we have redeemed the world. Pilate said to them, Then what should I do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? All of them said, Let him be crucified. Then he asked, Why? 
What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. So he released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. For a while, it looked like Pilate might save Jesus. He sent signals like he would. But ultimately, we see what Jesus already knew. There is no salvation on earth. That adoring crowd from a week ago now shouts, crucify him. His friends abandon him. Worldly power in the person of Pontius Pilate will choose the crowd over what is right. Lord Jesus, the pandemic has taught us all the lesson you already knew. The world may be beautiful and exciting, but it is fallen and dangerous too. May we learn from you that there is only one who does not disappoint, the ground of being, God himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and ever shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Second station, Jesus accepts his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole court around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. And after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. Jesus Christ submitted entirely to the will of the Father. And so when he was given a rough cross to carry to his own execution, he embraced it. In some depictions, he even kisses the cross. He knew that the cross meant suffering, torture, and death. But he trusted his Father and knew that he brings good from every evil, even an evil as terrible as the cross. Lord Jesus, pandemic is a hard cross to accept. Who will get sick? Who will die? Who will lose their job? How will this reshape the future? The only way to accept it is to trust, as you did, that the Father's care will never end. Give us this trust. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases. Yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have all turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Jesus fell under the weight of the cross, under the weight of our sins, and we are horrified to see it. We repent what we did that led to this. First, we repent the way we have sinned with our pride and greed, when we live a complacent life filled with selfishness. We repent for putting other gods in the center of our lives instead of the one God. Lord Jesus, you do not directly cause suffering, but you allow it for our good. Help us remember in this pandemic that we are not the center of the universe. You are. We repent of our pride and greed. May we put our time, effort, and resources where our heart truly is with you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus meets his holy mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. His mother treasured all these things in her heart. Here is Jesus face to face with his mother. When he was a baby, she was told that a sword would pierce her heart. From the cross, he will make her our mother. In between, she has had to walk a rough road with her son. But as they gaze at each other, the love the two have is so deep and sweet, all of that is forgotten. Lord Jesus, 
If we did not know before, the pandemic reveals what your mother knew so well. This world is a valley of tears. Thank you for the gift of your mother, and thank you for your fidelity to the loving concern for us that she brings to you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for, pray for us sinners, sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As they led him away, they seized a man, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country. And they laid the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. A great number of the people followed him, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. A passerby, Simon of Cyrene, is compelled by the Romans to help Jesus carry his cross. Simon stands for the corporal works of mercy, serving the physical needs of others, feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, giving drink to the thirsty, sheltering the homeless, visiting prisoners, and above all, right now, caring for the sick and burying the dead. Lord Jesus, show us opportunities to help those who are suffering from the pandemic. Sometimes, like Simon, we have little choice but to help. Sometimes we must seek out those who need our assistance. Send us an army of Simons to lighten the burdens around us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. For he grew up before him like a young plant and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or majesty that we should look at him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him, he was despised and rejected by others, a man of suffering and acquainted with infirmity. 
And as one from whom others hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him of no account. Ignoring the complaints of the Roman guards, Veronica reaches out to comfort Jesus, using her veil to wipe his face and receiving his image there in return. Veronica stands for the spiritual works of mercy, instructing the ignorant, admonishing sinners, forgiving offenses, counseling the doubtful, bearing wrongs patiently, and above all right now, comforting the afflicted and praying for the living and the dead. Lord Jesus, when we reach out to the suffering, our efforts restore your image in others and imprint your face on our lives. Give us the words we need to say, to give faith to the shaken and hope to the hurting. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ Jesus, seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I am one who has seen affliction. Under the rod of God's wrath, he has driven and brought me into darkness without any light. He has blocked my ways with hewn stones. He has made my paths crooked. He has made my teeth grind on gravel and made me cower in ashes. The weight of our sins forces Jesus to the ground again. This time it's our sins of anger and envy that weigh him down. Like the crowds that were tantalized, then scandalized by Jesus, we have allowed ourselves to become petty and superficial, feeding off the anger of the like-minded and rejecting the humanity of those with whom we disagree. We have walled ourselves off into halls of mirrors, reflecting our own image, where your truth can no longer penetrate. Lord Jesus, help us in this pandemic to see that we are all your creatures struggling to find our way in the world. We repent of our habits of anger and envy. Teach us to see the dignity of everyone we meet and to listen and respond to their lives with your love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And, and forgive, forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
the eighth station, Jesus consoles the weeping women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A great number of the people followed him, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For the days are surely coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore and the breasts that never nursed. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Jesus faces the crowd of women who are weeping in sadness for his plight. But he says, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. The ultimate tragedy of Jesus' suffering is not the pain he endures, but the many people who will refuse to accept the offer of love and salvation that is the reason for his pain. Lord Jesus, help us to see in this pandemic not just a tragedy of human suffering, but a tragedy of human souls. Help us to weep, not just for the difficulties the world faces, but for the sins the world commits. We offer you the only consolation you want, our love for you and one another. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It is good for one to bear the yoke in youth, to sit alone in silence when the Lord has imposed it, to put one's mouth to the dust. There may yet be hope, to give one's cheek to the smiter and be filled with insults. For the Lord will not reject forever. Although he causes grief, he will have compassion according to the abundance of his steadfast love. One last time, even as the end is in sight, Jesus falls again into the dirt. This time he is knocked down by our sins of sloth and lust. Here he struggles up Calvary for us, but we so often cannot be bothered to do even the minimum for him. He calls us to greatness. We want only comfort. He offers his body to the Father. We pamper our bodies. We realize in horror that he died for the very people whose bodies we have treated as objects for our use. Lord Jesus, in this pandemic, we repent of our sloth and lust. As those around us suffer sickness, economic hardship, and death, give us the purity of heart to see the true worth of everyone we meet, to repent of our past sins, and to honor and defend your image in others. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. station, Jesus is stripped of his gardens. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And when they came to the place called Golgotha, which means place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Jesus goes to his father as he came into the world. He has no fine clothes, no mighty airs. He is stripped bare before God and man with nothing to hide his scars and pain showing the whole world that while, yes, he is fully God, he is also fully human. He is one of us. Lord Jesus, this pandemic has stripped us of our illusions. We were like the emperor with no clothes, putting on airs and ignoring our real predicament, imagining we were invincible. May we learn from you to see ourselves humbly and honestly stripped of preconceptions, and to see that our true worth is that we are loved by one as great as you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Over his head they put the charge against him, which read, this is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two bandits were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, Come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests also, 
along with the scribes and elders, were mocking him, saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. He is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe him. Here is the last torture of our king. He is pinned helpless to a cross. The hands that created the universe clutch at the heads of nails. The feet that walked on water stream blood onto a wooden block. Lord Jesus, the pandemic has left us feeling helpless in front of the awful reality of suffering and death. We feel helpless to avoid the suffering that keeps coming, pinned to the cross of circumstance. But when we are most helpless, we find you embracing us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as it is now, and it shall be, world without end. station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. After this, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said, In order to fulfill the scripture, I am thirsty. A jar full of sour wine was standing there. So they put a sponge full of the wine on a branch of hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, it is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. And then it happens, the unthinkable, the last cries of anguish, the entrustment of his spirit to God. And then the mouth that spoke such beautiful words falls silent, and his sacred head falls limp. Our king has died. This is a greater fear than any we could have imagined, and it is suddenly all too real. Jesus Christ, the Son of God who became man, is dead on a cross. Lord Jesus, None of us knows what we face in this pandemic. We fear the worst. We fear death. And for some, that fear will be realized. But you have yourself suffered the thing which is our greatest fear, to reassure us that even if you call us there, we will find you waiting, filled with love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Many women who also were there, looking on from a distance, they had followed Jesus from Galilee and had provided for him. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. The pain stops at last when Jesus Christ has given the full measure of love. He has carried the burden. He has been pushed and prodded and driven to his death. There at the end of the road, his body ends where it began, in the loving embrace of his mother. Lord Jesus, we have a long road ahead of us in this pandemic. We will walk it to the end, and though we do not know what we will find, we will walk it with faith, and we will never give up, knowing that you are with us with your love and your grace. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Fourteenth station, Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite the tomb. In the end, Jesus is buried in a cave, and a rock is pushed across the mouth of the tomb. He is left to decay. So often the world has done the same thing, hidden Jesus away, sealed him off from polite society, and given up on his love. But our Lord will not decompose in the tomb. He will rise again and will make himself present in the sacraments of the church, baptism, the Eucharist, confirmation, penance, marriage, holy orders, and the anointing of the sick. Lord Jesus, so often the world has counted you down and out, but you always rise again. In this time of pandemic, we pray for the physical cure our bodies need, 
but thank you with all our heart for the spiritual cure that you give us on Easter. May our present suffering lead us to love you even more in your sacraments. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, these are such difficult and painful times. We have walked your way of the cross with you, remembering your sacrifice. Now we ask that you walk our way of the cross with us, filling our lives with your love. We know that whatever comes, the future is safe in your hands. Amen. Thank you, everyone throughout the diocese and beyond who have prayed this, the Stations of the Cross this evening. Let us continue to pray for protection in this time of pandemic. And we've celebrated the Way of the Cross here in the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, our Mother Church of our diocese. And I'd like to end with a prayer to Our Lady, the Immaculate Conception. O oh Mary, you always brighten our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain while remaining steadfast in faith. O oh, loving Mother, you know what we need, and we are confident that you will provide for us as at Cana in Galilee. Intercede for us with your Son Jesus, the Divine Physician, for those who have fallen ill, for those who are vulnerable, and for those who have died. Intercede also for those charged with protecting the health and safety of others, and for those who are tending to the sick and seeking a cure. Help us, O Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows so as to lead us through the cross to the glory of the resurrection. Under thy protection we seek refuge, O Holy Mother of God. In our needs despise not our petitions, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the Father of mercy who through the passion of the Son has given us the full measure of his love, grant you the gift of his blessing in the service of God and others. May Christ the Lord, who in his passion saved us from eternal death, grant you everlasting life. May you who follow the humiliated and suffering Christ also share in his resurrection. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever.
cross and resurrection, you have set us free. 